Hello guys, uh, my name is Carl and welcome to a Windows tutorial today. Um, I received a tweet from somebody on Twitter asking me to do a Rust server uh, tutorial um, and I looked into it and it uh, looks like Rust uh, isn't quite ready for Linux. I'm sure it will work on Linux with maybe with Wine or Mono but um, I'm not going to dabble into that yet until I do a little more research. But in the meanwhile we're going to go ahead and set up on Windows. I'm going to be using Windows 7. This tutorial should work for Windows XP, Vista, 7, 8, 8.1 and 10 even. Uh, it's actually quite simple. We're going to be using Steam CMD to launch it. A couple disclaimers though. Uh, there are two different types of uh, Rust servers you can run. There is the Legacy and the uh, Experimental which is I guess they consider the Alpha. Um, I've kind of played with both of them a little bit. I was not able to get the Experimental server to work properly and I think it's because I don't actually own the game Rust. That's another thing too, is I actually didn't test the legacy server, but um, there's no evidence uh, to tell me that the server isn't going to be isn't going to be working uh, after it successfully launches. But um, just so you know now, you can't get mad at me later, but um, the experimental part, I'm going to show you how to, to uh, download the experimental server. I just, I can't actually get it to launch, because when I launch it, uh, it opens Steam and it looks for the game and I don't own it, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But um, the legacy uh, server will work uh, using Steam CMD with uh, logging in as uh, anonymous. So that's the one I'm going to be focusing on here. But when it comes down to choose between which one you want to do, I'll show you both commands and then I'll let you decide. I'll also leave a, um, a bunch of links to the wick to um, to the Rust wiki, uh, kind of, and to the Steam CMD uh, Rust dedicated server page too, so you can do a little research on which one you want to do, and um, all that fun stuff. will also have. Um, server customizations and other things that uh, I will not be covering in this video because, well, since I can't test the server, I, there's no, I don't own the game, so there's not really much more I can do other than I can show you how to get it ready to that point. So, what we want to do is we want to go head, head online and we want to go download Steam CMD. A link to the download will be in the description. It's a very quick download. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder on the desktop. I'm just going to call it Steam CMD. Nothing fancy. I'm going to go ahead and open that folder. And I'm going to go ahead and extract Steam CMD into it. I'm going to go ahead and launch Steam CMD. And it's going to go ahead and download and update itself. Alright, once it's open, we're going to log in as Anonymous. Once we're logged in, we're going to go ahead and set up our install directory. So force install dir. I'm going to go ahead and just call it rust. And it's going to make a folder in the Steam CMD directory. Now, here is where you get to decide which server you want to run. You can download both of them if you want, but you'll need to change the install directory. So they're in two different directories. And you can do that by simply just changing the force install directory. Um, you can do like four. You can do like Rust One and Rust Two, or Legacy and Experimental. But essentially, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you the command how to um, how to install the uh, Beta Experimental. It's app underscore update two five eight five five zero dash Beta space Experimental and validate. And that's what you want to run, and that command will download that particular one. But the one I'm going to do is a legacy one because that one seems to be working okay. So app update two five eight five five zero dash beta space legacy validate. And it's going to go and download. It's relatively small. It won't take very long. Great, once it's finished downloading uh, the legacy or the experimental or both, we go ahead and exit Steam by typing quit. All right, in our folder, Steam CMD, you're gonna see the Rust directory or whatever you called it, and that's where our um, server is gonna be setting. All right, so now what I wanna do is we wanna go ahead and create a batch file. So right click new text document, open it up. We're gonna go ahead and write, let's see, rust underscore server dot exe. 
space, we're going to go ahead and do dash batch mode. Uh, the batch mode um, flag tells it to not to launch any uh, any GUIs or anything like that. If you don't run it with batch mode, the game uh, will launch and you'll see you'll be sitting at a black screen. And yeah, there's no reason for that. Um, then we're going to go ahead and just do port and it's 28015. Go ahead and save as. I'm going to call mine run.bat. Yep, yeah, .bat. Go ahead and save it as all file types. Close it out. And we go ahead and oops, go ahead and run our run bat file. Give it a second. It might take a minute for it to load uh, for the first time. Once it says server initialized, it is now up and listening for connections. Uh, it does run on port two eight zero one five. TCP and UDP, so if you're if you're running this on your internal network, you'll need to port forward that port. Um, but again, I have to, you know, just kind of let you guys know again, I don't own the game. I wasn't able to thoroughly test this. Um, I was not able to get the beta experimental server to work at all. It just wasn't would not cooperate. But the, the legacy server seems to be okay. Everything that I read online says the legacy server will be fine. Um, and uh, this, this should be everything you need to know about getting the server up and running. There's a bunch of other configurations, just like for any other game server, uh, that you can uh, go back and check out. I'll leave links in the description to pretty much everything that I can find that's relevant and uh, official, so you guys can play around with that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm sorry it's for Windows. Um, I'm sure this will work on Linux, but there is no Linux distribution out. So you might have to do, uh, like, a, like I said, like a wine or a mono. I'll look into that in the, the future here, and um, I'll cover it once I'm able to get something working. Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, you leave me a like. If you want to see more in the future, subscribe. Uh, if you have suggestions for another video, this video was asked via Twitter by a viewer. And I knocked it out probably the same day as he requested it. Well, the same day I got the tweet. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, 